the Colville classroom, and we have with us our, our new Paul Pressler Page Patterson penis pointer. And the good thing is, it's like when Paul Pressler, now Paul Pressler is the famous Southern Baptist, most influential in all time, that uh, seemed to be accused in paying off judgments to young boys that he molested. And Paige Patterson, very influential from Dallas, who's had his number of issues with uh, young seminarians. But we have this penis pointer, and it's like Paul Pressler gets around a Cub Scout. You see, it goes out really far. If he gets around a, a, a girl, not, not, not so much. It, it, it shrinks up. But uh, at any rate, uh, we'll continue our lecture. Some people from listening to my past lectures may think I have something against religion. I don't. I, some of the finest people I know uh, are involved in, in religion and, and doing almost not good. I actually uh, still consider myself a, a, a Catholic. But one of the, the, my favorite people is, is a North, North Louisiana Protestant, a most central Louisiana Protestant from a town called Tioga, Louisiana, which is right by uh, Louisiana Christian, where the Paul Prestle School of Law with Dean Mike Johnson was going to be. And a gentleman by the name of Reverend Anthony Mangum, he's a very good friend of President Clinton's, a very good friend of mine, a very humane man who is a heads the Pentecostal church there, the most, one of the most non judgmental human beings I've ever known, one of the most forgiving, charismatic human beings I've ever known. And any time that I'm included in any of Reverend Magnum's prayers, I'm, I'm always grateful. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Pope Francis, who ran that goddamn fat Cardinal Burke through his ass out on the street in Rome, took his subsidy away, which I think they ought to immediately canonize Pope Francis for that. So don't get me wrong. I'm not against religious people, but what I am against are hypocrites. And I'm against people who bear false witness against me. We went through this in an earlier lecture, how Mike and Tony Perkins, we call him Louisiana, Tony, Tony, Shetland Pony, uh, lied about me, said that I said that Christianity was a bigger threat than Al-Qaeda. Of course, I said Christian nationalism. And I can refer you to an article that appeared today in The Guardian, a very classy uh British publication that has a huge circulation in America, uh, written by a journalist by the name of Jason Berry, and it will explain in pretty good details exactly how dangerous that I think the concept of, of Christian nationalism, because Mikey Boy and Tony Tony Shetland Pony are, are theocrats. They, they don't believe in the Constitution or any of these kind of impediments that they think that they want to turn the United States into a theocracy, and I don't, and I'm going to continue to be uh, very, very vocal about that. But uh, if y'all show up at Louisiana Christian and want to have this debate, I, my invitation is open. Tony, don't bring the Shetland pony, because some of these Christian activists may try to mount the damn thing from the rear. <laughs> this, they're about that weird of people. But at any rate, the invitation remains open. So I had a, a very interesting thing happen to me. Somebody at, at my place at my camp in Mississippi let over a box of files that were, if you remember, uh, Mike Johnson's wife was a, in the pastoral counseling business in Bossier Parish. I, I, I don't know what the hell a pastoral counselor is, but I'm, I'm sure it's something noble and great. And I, I, I got these files, and uh, I went through them, and some of them, they were color-coded. And, but I assume that the red uh, files in this one uh, are the more actionable ones and the more serious ones. And I I'm, I'm, can extrapolate from the notes here. The a lady came in to see Mrs. Johnson at the Pastoral Council Center. Her name was Mrs. Battison U. Bishop and came in to talk to her about her deep and profound concerns about her son, Bat U. Bishop. It, it seems that young Bat spent a lot of time in his bedroom with the lights low and the door locked. And 
Mrs. Bishop related to Mrs. Johnson that she noticed that his sheet was very stained. And she thought maybe she saw the face of God on it, but there was a lot of stains on the sheet. And she kind of didn't know what to do, but she thought it looked pretty good. So she entered it in the Bossier Parish Art Contest and happy to report the sheet got the silver medal. Apparently very artistic by, by young Mr. Bishop. But uh, the rec recommendation from Mrs. Johnson was to get this 17-year-old kid to see an optometrist and a dermatologist right away because we all know that this kind of behavior in young people leads to blindness and pimples. So uh, thank God that, that we got an intervention here to, to see that this youngster gets uh, proper medical attention for the abuses that he's doing to his young body. And she also uh, informed Mrs. Bishop that there's the Paul Pressler Masturbation Innovation Hotline. And if this kind of activity was going on, you could call it and they could dispatch people to intervene right away. They would get, a, 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 they'd get their hands on this problem and, and bring it all to an end. They're, they're, they're right there. They're deployed. They're, they're ready to be assigned at, at, at a moment's notice. They're well trained in the Paul Pressler Institute of uh, uh, Child assistance, <laughs> if you will. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep going through these files. I, I, I checked with my attorneys at, at Williams and Conley, and because I'm a journalist and, and a comedian, I, I, I have protections like uh, Daniel Ellsberg in the Pentagon Papers. And I have right here in my hands, for your edification, the files of the Kelly Johnson pastoral counseling uh, from a business that she was in. Uh, also, uh, we talked about this, uh, a, a big story in The Guardian, which had this story on me, uh, that uh, Mike Johnson's dad was a fireman and they went to see him about a toxic burn pit in Minden, Louisiana, in his district, of course, had paid no attention to his dad. Uh, of course, that's the Honor thy father and mother, I think, in the King James is number five, and bearing false witness against your neighbors, number nine. So, Micah, you, you're two down and eight to go. We're going to be keeping score here. And I, I think when we do some further exploration on what happened to the money that was raised uh, for the Paul Presser College of Law at Louisiana Christian with you and Dr. Aguilar, uh, there might be some 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 further violations here, but uh, we have covenant eyes. We 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 uh, actually watch for violations of the Ten Commandments because I know that Mike and and Paul Pressler and Joe Aguilar and Tony Perkins uh, want them posted everywhere. Uh, we're also going to be doing some exploratory work uh, from some of the reports I'm getting from a high school in Bossier Parish by the name of Airline High School, which is ostensibly a, a, a public school, but I have to confirm a few more things that people are telling me that happened there. But we're in the holiday season, and I certainly wish all of you the very best of uh, 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 season's greetings, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. I don't know what the shit people say anymore, but uh, I I'm looking forward to this time of year, as I hope you are. And uh, maybe in the period between uh, Christmas and New Year, we'll have some further exploring to do on uh, Mike Johnson and maybe uh, Mrs. Johnson's pastoral counseling business and the courageous fight that the two of them are leading uh, against uh, teenagers. Uh, well, you know, teenage boys do. Uh, but we're going to look pretty deeply into this because morality in this country needs strong people like Paul Pressler and Paige Patterson and Joe Aguilar and Mike Johnson to be right on the front and who believe that we ought to, I don't know, do what? Have a, a theocracy in polls and have 
biblical source for all laws that come. I, I don't know if how familiar are the Old Testament, but some pretty you know, extreme stuff in there, to say the least. I'm not for that. And I don't think you're for that either. But the only way to deal with these people is to mock them. And that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to preach the truth and preach it through the eyes of just how ridiculous and it, this whole Christian nationalism crap is. So I look forward to having more educational and instructional videos as this process continues. And to you and yours, the best to all of you. Thank you very much.